Good evening. It's uh, an honor and a pleasure for me to be here with you tonight. Reflecting about the Holocaust is something that we in Israel do almost every day. But the more we reflect, the less we understand. The more we reflect, the less we are able to explain to ourselves and to others what really happened and why. I wanted to share with you a poem I read a few years ago, and since then, never stopped thinking about it. It is by a Polish author named Wisława Simborska. And once I read it, I kept thinking about a question every educator must always ask herself. What can we do to change human hearts and minds? What can we do to ensure that our students will not turn into monsters? It is called Hitler's first photograph. And who is this little fellow in his tiny bitty robe? Who is this tiny baby Adolf, the Hitler's little boy? Will he grow up to be an LLD or a tenor in the Vienna's Opera House? Whose tiny hand is this? Whose little ear and nose? Whose tummy is full of milk? We just don't know. A painter, a doctor, a merchant, a priest? Where will these little legs go? To the garden, to a school, to an office? Precious little angel, mommy's sunshine, honey bun. While he was born a year ago, there was no dread of sign on earth and in the sky. Spring sun, geranium in windows, a lucky fortune wrapped in rosy paper. Then just before his labor, a mother's fateful dream, a dove seen in a dream, means joyful news, she was told. A little pacifier, diaper, bib, a bouncing boy. Thank God, a knock on wood, he's well. Just like his folks, like a kitten in a basket, like a toad in every other family album. Shh, don't start crying, sugar. The camera will click from under the black hood. In this atelier in Brennan, and Brennan is a small and worthy town. Honest business, obliging neighbors, smell of dough, of soap, Nobody hears hallowing dogs or the faith footsteps. A history teacher loosens his color and yawns over homework. Reading this poem, I kept asking myself, what can we do as educators that the next door neighbor will not become another monster? or a mass murderer, or just a murderer? How can a civilized society like Germany turn into a society that overlooks every human aspect of life? How can we make sure that we ourselves will not forget the lesson that we must as Dorit so beautifully said, be always human beings. And it is easy to forget. I think what we are trying to teach in this very important place for us as Jews and for all human beings is that we must fight every day. We must fight indifference. We must fight the temptation to forget. We must fight the temptation to overlook the needs of others. We must fight 
our tendency to think that we are always right. And because we are right, we have the right to harm others. We must fight what seems to be a destiny unless we are able to stop and unless we are able to think. So this place is about thinking, identifying, remembering, and trying together to make this world a world where the Holocaust cannot happen. And it cannot happen because you and I are ready to stand for what we believe in. I think in Germany, in those days, many people just didn't believe that the first little step can lead to such a horrific set of actions. We must believe, and every little step should be stopped at the very beginning. If we will learn this lesson, this will be a better world. And I think that in doing that, we will always serve what we are supposed to serve, what is, I think, our utmost goal as human being. The goal of taking care of those who need us in the right moment, when they need us. I hope you'll have a very good seminar, and you'll come out of this seminar as human beings with a mission, our mission. Thank you very much.